Hi everyone. Today our topic is Rotational and Circular Motion Newton Law of Universal Gravitation is used to extend the study of uniform circular motion to the centripetal acceleration caused by the gravitational force on satellite. These ideas are applied to weather forecasting and communication satellites. Angular motion The motion in which a body moves along a circular path about a fixed point or axis. For example, a car moving around a corner. The motion of fans. Motion of moon around Earth. Angular displacement. Angular displacement is the angle in radian, degree, and revolutions through which a body revolves around a center or a specific axis. SI unit of angular displacement is radian. 1 radian. If the length of arc is equal to radius of circle the angle subtended at the center of circle is 1 radian. Arc AB equal to OA equal to radius of circle. Measure angle AOB is theta. By definition, arc AB by R equal to 1 radian. Relation between degree and radians. Number of revolutions in 1 radian is equal to circumference of circle by radius of circle putting values so one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian if we compare degree and radian 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree and one radian equal to 57.3 degree angular velocity the time rate of change of angular displacement of body called angular velocity if delta theta is the angular displacement of body in time delta t then angular velocity is omega equal to delta theta by delta t its unit is radian per second degree per second and revolution per second angular acceleration the time rate of change of angular velocity of body is called angular acceleration. If delta omega be the change in velocity which take place in time interval delta t, the angular acceleration is alpha equal to delta omega by delta t. Its unit is radian per second square. The direction of angular acceleration is along the axis of rotation. Relation between linear and angular quantities. S equal to R theta. Where S is linear displacement and theta is the angular displacement. V equal to R omega. Where V is the linear velocity and omega is the angular velocity. A equal to R alpha. Where A is the linear acceleration and alpha be the angular acceleration t equal to r and f where f is the linear quantity and t is the angular quantity l equal to rp where p is the linear momentum and l is the angular momentum i equal to mr square i is the inertia of body and r is the radii of object centripetal force the force required to move an object in a circular path is called centripetal force. Mathematically, F is equal to mv square by r. At any instant and at each point, the direction of velocity of body changes. The change in velocity of body produces acceleration. Directing towards center of circle. The acceleration produced due to centripetal force is called centripetal acceleration. Mathematically, A equal to versus square by R. In terms of angular motion, 
a equal to minus r omega square. Negative sign tell us a and r are oppositely directed. Centrifugal force or reaction force. When we whirl a ball at the end of a string, we transmit this force to the ball by means of string pulling it inward and thus keeping it in circular path. According to Newton's third law, the ball will react and will exert an equal force outward on the hand. This outward force on our hand is known as centrifugal force. If the string breaks then centripetal force suddenly removed. When string breaks, there is no centripetal force acting on the stone. So it continue to move in straight line along tangent to circle. The magnitude of centripetal force is the same as that of centrifugal force. Centrifugal force equal to mv square by r. Banking of road. If car is traveling round a circular path, with uniform speed on horizontal road. The resultant force acting directed towards center of circular path is centripetal force. The centrifugal force arises from the interaction of car with air and the ground. The resultant of these two forces is the centripetal force. Thanks for watching us.